So apparently Tom Brady, who's arguably the best NFL quarterback of all time, is kind of a real estate mogul when he's not playing football. An article from Architectural Digest caught my attention the other day titled, Inside Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen's Extensive Real Estate Portfolio. And after reading this piece, I was very surprised and impressed by the success that Tom and his wife Giselle have had in real estate over the years. We're talking nearly a dozen properties that they have either bought and held or bought, renovated, and later sold. And of the houses that they did sell, they're usually walking away with millions of dollars in profit. I'm not one for celebrity gossip, but when you learn that a very busy NFL quarterback back and a Brazilian model are making millions of dollars on a real estate side hustle, you've got to do a little more digging. In today's episode, we are going to do a quick review on who Tom Brady and his wife Giselle are and how they're able to afford all of these multi-million dollar properties. Then we'll dive into every recorded real estate deal that they have done that I could find and how much money they made on all of the houses that they've sold. So starting with Tom Brady, he is a 44-year-old quarterback who plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and he has one of the most impressive resumes you can get. Tom has been playing in the NFL since 2001 when he was drafted to the New England Patriots and he stayed with the Patriots for 20 seasons before joining the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2020. Over the course of his long NFL career, he has earned an impressive seven Super Bowl rings with a record for the most Super Bowl MVP awards as well. Tom is a bit old for a quarterback, but that didn't slow him down in terms of his performance. Tom has been playing playing strong all the way up until his retirement in 2022. Speaking of his retirement, Tom Brady announced that he was done playing professional football on February 1st, 2022, but 40 days later, he announced he will be returning to the game for his 23rd season to take care of some unfinished business with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't know if it was the love of the game or the love of the money or maybe a little bit of both, but I guess he just wasn't ready to throw in the towel quite yet. Something tells me he's not going back to the game for money though, Tom Brady reportedly has earned around $300 million in salary and bonuses over his 22 years in the NFL, and that's not even including his success with real estate that we'll get into in a minute. So Tom Brady has an impressive resume and net worth after his 22 years in football, but his wife Giselle is even more accomplished. As one of the highest paid models in the world since as far back as 2001, Giselle Bündchen is one of the wealthiest women in the entertainment business. She's 41 years old today and now is a wildly successful model, but Giselle actually grew up with a much simpler life, spending a lot of time on her grandparents' small farm, doing things like milking the cows and gathering eggs. Then as she grew up, she became more active in sports like ballet, gymnastics, and volleyball. By the age of 14, Giselle was already pursuing her first modeling gig. Fast forward to today, and Giselle remains an icon in the industry with experience at New York Fashion Week, having appeared on the cover of Vogue magazine, and acting as face of the Victoria's Secret brand. It turns out that modeling wasn't all that bad of a career path for Giselle. She has grown her net worth to around $400 million over the course of her 25 year career. Again, even more than her husband, Tom Brady. All right, so this power couple have a combined net worth of around $700 million, but I guess they got a little bit bored on the off season because Tom and Giselle hold an impressive real estate portfolio along with having bought and sold a bunch of properties all over the US over the past 15 years. I was able to dig up 10 confirmed deals that these two have been involved in that they spent a total of over $150 million on. So let's run through the list of all the deals that they've done together and I'll tally them up here on the screen as we go. So first up here, this one doesn't really count as one of Tom and Giselle's real estate deals, but it's a good place to start. In 1977, Tom Brady's parents bought a house in San Mateo, California, where they have apparently still live today. This is where Tom grew up, so it is the first piece of real estate that he ever lived in. Apparently they bought this house because Tom was born and Tom ended up spending his entire childhood here. Okay, so now let's fast forward. This was the first piece of real estate that Tom ever bought for himself. This one was at 314 Commonwealth Avenue. He bought this place originally in 2004 for $4.1 million. It's about 3,400 square feet in total. It's got three bedrooms in there and three full bathrooms. 
bathrooms. The French chateau style building that it's in is called the Barrage Mansion and it's got a pretty cool looking historic exterior. This was a full floor unit that was loaded with amenities. There was direct elevator access, a really nice foyer, a well appointed kitchen, basically everything you can imagine in a home of this caliber. After living in this place for just four years, Tom sold this deal in 2008 for $5.3 million and by the looks of things, he didn't do any work to it, so he had a net gain of over a million dollars on this one. Next up, we've got a property that Tom Brady bought in 2006. He paid $6.2 million for this one at 310 Beacon Street. This was a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom unit. It was considered a penthouse, sitting at over 5,300 square feet. Inside, there were five fireplaces. It had four garaged parking spaces with one outdoors. There was two rooftop decks and it had a gym inside. This one ended up being the only real estate deal that Tom and Giselle lost money on as far as I can tell. Like I said, they paid 6.2 for it in 2006. They did a very heavy multi-million dollar renovation on the place and they ended up selling it in 2012 for just $9.2 million. Estimates on this are that they had a $700,000 loss. After they lost money on that deal in Boston, Tom and Giselle got married and moved to Brentwood, California to a property off Challen Road. This one was a smashing success in terms of a real estate investment. They bought it for $11.75 million in 2008, and by 2014, they ended up selling it for $40 million to Dr. Dre. The home was 18,000 square feet in total, so it was massive and low loaded with amenities. It had stuff like a moat, a swimming pool out back that looked kind of like a lake. There was custom play areas all around the house for the couple's three kids. And as you guys can see here, it's pretty over the top and incredible. There's mixed reports on how well Tom and Giselle did when they ultimately sold this place, but it sounds like the total net profit after the purchase price of the land and then the build out was around 8 million bucks. Next up, we've got a place that Tom and Giselle bought in 2014 for $11.7 million in New York at one Madison Tower. They had Peter Marino involved to design this condo, which was in the Flatiron neighborhood. It's a 48th floor apartment, so of course it has views as far as you can see in every every direction. There's three bedrooms in here and three and a half bathrooms. Just like any New York apartment should, it's got floor to ceiling windows to capture those views. And after they sold this place in 2018 for $13.95 million, it's estimated they made about $2.2 million on this transaction. 2014 was a busy year for these guys in real estate because that year they bought another property in Massachusetts at 112 Woodland Road. This place they picked up for $4.5 million. It was a five acre property, but just a vacant lot whenever they bought it. They brought on the same architect that they used to design that Brentwood home that they ultimately sold to Dr. Dre that we were just talking about. And they built a 12,000 square foot mansion here with a yoga studio, a wine room, a playroom, a gym, a guest house, all of that. It's just got a really nice clean finished package that I think pretty much anyone can appreciate, especially in this setting with all the trees and lawns surrounding the property. Ultimately though, they sold this place when Tom Brady was traded to the Buccaneers. They sold it for $32.5 million and it's estimated they made about 2 million bucks on this one as well. Moving back to New York, we have two properties that Tom and Giselle bought at 70 Vestry Street. First, we can talk about the one that they've bought and sold. So they paid 25.5 million dollars for a massive penthouse in this building back in 2016. This one was in the Tribeca area of New York and it was sitting on the 12th floor so it had great views again of course and there was a 1900 square foot terrace on this property. The unit had five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms and apparently Tom and Giselle really liked this place because they did sell this one also when Tom Brady was traded to the Buccaneers. They got 37 million dollars for the place meaning they had a net gain of around $11 million when they sold this one. But shortly after in 2021, they bought a much smaller unit in the same building for $3.6 million. This one they have not sold. I'd imagine they'll probably hang on to it. For this price point, it seems like a perfect way to escape to this part of New York if they're visiting. We've got just a couple more here to cover. 
Two of them are prices unknown and exact location unknown. The first is in a place called Big Sky, Montana. So there's this club called Yellowstone Club that Tom Brady and his wife Giselle are definitely known to be members of. It's a cool club that's known for mountain biking and skiing and hiking and things like that. And the thing is to join this club, you have to own a house within this community. So I wasn't able to confirm exactly which house it is that they own in there, but I did discover that it costs between five and $30 million to buy a place within this club. And even if you drop the money on the house, you still need to drop an additional $300,000 per person to become a member. Another one that's kind of mysterious is that it's widely accepted that Tom and Giselle own a place in Costa Rica. There's a lot of records of the two of them spending time there with family. And some people thought that it's possible they just rented there, but they visited enough. And some reports are saying that Tom Brady definitely owns a house somewhere in the Santa Teresa area. If you look at the real estate prices in this part of Costa Rica, they range anywhere from 200,000 up to $20 million. So your guess is as good as mine as far as how much they spent out here. And we should round this thing out by talking about exactly where these two live today. And not surprisingly, it's in Florida. So right this minute, it sounds like they're renting a home in Tampa that was previously owned by Derek Jetters. It's on Davis Island and they're paying $75,000 per month for this place. It's a 30,000 square foot mansion. It's got seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and just like any of the other mega mansions, it's got tons of amenities. There's a dock with two boats. There's a swimming pool with views of the water. There's billiard rooms, all that stuff. But the reason that they're renting this house instead of having bought it is they're actually building their dream house not so far away. So in 2020, Tom and Giselle bought their new primary residence, which is in a place called Billionaire's Bunker. If you haven't heard of that before, it's located on Indian Creek Island in Miami. They paid $17 million for the place. And what they're doing is tearing down the mansion that's there and then building something new on the two acre lot. It's estimated that they're going to put about $20 million into this build and they're actually building it to mimic that house in Brentwood that they sold to Dr. Dre. The island itself is pretty small. It's only a half of a square mile in total and it's known for having security around the clock. It actually has its own 13 person private police force that patrols the neighborhood both day and night. Peter Marino did their design on their other couple of houses but on this one, Scott Mitchell is the guy who's doing the architecture. So it looks like Tom and Giselle are only holding about four properties at this point in their life. But if you tally up all of the profits that they've made over their real estate investing journey, they've earned around $30 million in total profits. There's an old saying that the rich get richer, and this is a perfect example of exactly how that happens. Real estate investing is not for the faint of heart, but there's definitely a reason why most millionaires and billionaires out there are doing it. If you enjoyed the episode today, guys, hit that thumbs up button down below before you go. That really helps my channel out a lot. And remember to click subscribe as well if you're not already a subscriber because I'm putting new videos out every week and I'd love to have you here for next one. But that's all I've got for you guys this time. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see ya.